This makeup look though would be perfect for indecisive people. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to create this look for you guys or these looks for you guys. This look was inspired by Gemini, since it is currently Gemini season. This look is actually part of my horoscope birth sign series here on my channel. So I will link the other looks in this series down below so you guys can go check them out. And while you're checking out those videos, you might as well subscribe to my channel. Subscribing is 100% free, just letting you know. So this look is for all of my Gemini friends out there. I was so excited to create this look. I I don't know what it was. I guess I was really excited to do like half and half. I don't know. I am feeling a little bit under the weather. Uh, I'm a lot better than what I was like a couple of days ago. <laughs> I do feel a lot better now. And I was just like, as soon as I got better, I was like, I have to film this video before Gemini season is over. So I'm sorry that it's going up so late. I know Gemini season started like, I don't know, 15 days ago, but that's why. Sorry. I'm really curious to know which look you guys prefer. Do y'all prefer like the glowy sun goddess or the more cold, cool vampire? Let me know in the comment section down below. I pretty much tried to do the exact opposite for each side. So here I really wanted like sun-kissed, glowy, dewy, and all of that. And here I wanted more of like a stone cold iceness, you know? Um, and more matte. I know it's not completely matte because of like the highlighter and you know, the, the eyelid and all of that, but I don't know, it's so hard for me to do a full matte look. I always need like a little bit of glitter every time, every time. And then my hair is like, well, <laughs> my hair is supposed to be super straight on this side, but you know, if you guys have been watching my videos, you know the struggle with my hair. And this side is supposed to be much more curly and like, you know, Farrah Fawcett vibes, I guess. I actually imagined it to be much curlier, like, super curly, you know, but that didn't happen. I actually decided to wear the white shirt because you couldn't really tell the difference between my hair when I was wearing the black shirt, so that is why. It was actually my husband's shirt, <laughs> one of his old shirts. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if I got makeup on this because I didn't want to risk one of my white shirts getting makeup on, so that's why I decided to sacrifice my husband's white shirt but don't tell him anyways if you guys are interested in learning how to get these looks then just keep on watching uh, here is me feeling totally blah yet again uh, anyways I'm first starting off with the glowy side so I'm taking the shadow Eden from the prism palette and applying that to my crease and then I'm adding in just a dash of the shade Saturn. Next, I'm taking this ColourPop shadow in Super Hardcore and concentrating this on the middle of my lid and blending outwards. And I'm also applying this to the inner corner and brow bone as well. Now I'm filling in my brow with this MAC Eyebrow Pencil in Lingering, I think it's called. I'm not sure, but it's a brown pencil though because I didn't want the brows to be too harsh. Then going back in with Eden and Saturn, I'm going to smudge out the lower lash line. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply this Butter London Double Decker Mascara for more volume. I'm just going to go ahead and prime my entire face with this Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizing Primer. And this little dark spot was left after I got rid of the most stubborn pimple. So I'm going to do a little bit of color correcting with the red pigment from my Bella Pierre Pro Concealer Palette. For concealer, I'm mixing together the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Cream Beige and the Becca Liquid Shimmering Skin Perfector in Prosecco Pop. Then for concealer, I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey. And to set that concealer, I'm using this Ofra Banana Powder. 
For bronzer, I'm using this one from the City Color Glow Duo. And I don't know, it just wasn't giving me that sun-kissed glow I was looking for. So I went in with this Wet n Wild bronzer in Rose Golden Goddess. Then I went back into that City Color Duo palette and applied the cream highlight to my cheekbone. For blush, I decided to go with the Real Her blush called Unstoppable. Naturally, I wanted more highlight, so I applied You Do You from Ofra Cosmetics. I also decided to bake my face for just a little bit because with this much glow, you tend to lose definition. Then, for even more glow, I added Ofra's Rodeo Drive on my cheekbone, nose, and eye with a more precise brush. Again, for more definition, I decided to slightly contour slash bronze with this Wet n Wild contouring palette in Caramel Toffee. And then I'm adding this peachy gloss called Soho Peach from the brand NYC. Okay, so that's it for the glowy side for now. Now on to the vampy look. First, I'm going to apply the same Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation I used before, but this time I'm using a brush for more coverage. Then I'm priming my lids with the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer, and I'm setting it down with a flesh tone eyeshadow. Okay, so don't mind my totally abused Lorac Pro 2 palette, but I'm going to dip into the silver shade and apply it just on the lid. Then, taking charcoal from the same palette, I'm applying it into my crease. I am basically trying to create a winged smoky eye, so to make it a little easier on myself, I applied some tape to act as a guide. Then I used the black eyeshadow for the outer corner. For the inner corner and brow bone highlight, I used the shadow Snow. Now for the satisfying part. Next, I'm just filling in my brow with a dark brown powder, and I'm also extending the brow just a little bit. I also used some brow gel to slick back my brow hairs. For eyeliner, I mix in some of my Inglot Duraline into my Micro Beauty Gel Liner and created a wing. To clean up my brows, I added a bit more foundation. Then, just like before, I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape for concealer. Now I'm smoking out the bottom lash line by first going in with the shade Charcoal and then applying the black shadow to the outer edge. Next I'm using this black liner from Ciate for my waterline and tightline. As always, I'm going in with this IBY contour palette to contour my face. And this time I'm baking my face again but for just a little bit longer for a more sharper contour. For blush, I'm using this one called Rosé Champagne from Wet n Wild. And for highlight, I'm using the Glow Powder from the Bare Minerals Invisible Light Palette. Now I'm just curling my lashes and applying the same Butter London Mascara. And I'm also going to pop on some falsies for more drama. I felt like I needed to better define my eyes on the glowy side, so I took this brown coal pencil from Wet n Wild and applied that to my tight line and smudged it really close to the top lash line as well. Then I applied this nude eye pencil from Rimmel onto my waterline to create a more open, brighter eye look. For the lips, I first went in with this Jordana lip liner in Cabernet and then applied this Smashbox liquid lipstick in Miss Conduct. Finally, I'm going to set everything down with this Rosewater Mario Badescu spray. Alright guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial, or these makeup tutorials. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! I'm really curious to know which lot... Let me know down in the... Oh my god.